YouTube. It's your boy. Uh, skinny penis. But not for real. It's your boy Marley Gwen, and I'm back with another video. Yes, sir. Off the real. Look, y'all can tell from the thumbnail. Like I always say that shit, but y'all can already tell from the thumbnail. Like this is some random ass vid though. For real, for real. Like this is so random. Like this is a random ass. So low key, think of this as a vlog. But you know, I'm finna just show y'all what it is to drive a beat up ass whip like mine. Y'all don't, don't see that beat up ass car? That's a beater for you, for sure. So like. <laughs> It ain't it ain't the coolest looking car in the road. It's really not. Like it's really not. Yeah, I can see my little YouTube right, right there. But like it ain't no Charger, ain't no Hellcat, ain't no Challenger, ain't no Hemi, ain't no 300. It's just that. But this has potential, and I'm gonna just show y'all what I go through to day to day basis driving a fucking old ass beater. Like I said, it ain't pretty. Like, this is how you can tell. It's a, like, with all old cars like this, this doesn't even latch no more. Like, it, it won't even close. Like, that motherfucker's open. <laughs> but, like, you know, even though it looks like this on the outside, I mean, I keep it clean in the inside. But, like I said, though, like, I just been mostly trying to save my money because I want a V8. I had a supercharged V6 that got destroyed. And this basically was my first car. And it's basically like, it's kind of like history repeating itself. And when I say like history repeating itself, like I seen people soup up Hondas. But when I look at this, I don't want to put money into this. Like I already had it before. So like, it's just pointless to me trying to, like this isn't the first car that I missed. My second car was my best car, regardless of what anybody thinks. Like I said, though, it ain't the best car at all. Like, this is how you know how much I really can care less about this thing. Because it don't got a nice paint job. It ain't all... It's, this isn't all that. This right here is not all that. This ain't the cleanest car on the road. But you know why? You know, the, the five... Key, like, the five reasons why owning a beater car should be the best. One, if I mess up, if I mess something up on this car, like a scratch or a, like a dent or a ding, do you really think I care about it? No. Parts, second thing, parts are cheap for a car like this. Like this is cheap besides repairing it though. Cause this shit, you take it to local mechanic shop instead of doing it yourself, they go charge your arm and leg. But I ain't want to work on it. So, hey, that's number two. And like, like, I ain't even gonna get y'all the five reasons. I just know that this is a beater car. <laughs> and oh, it's just a very boring ass Honda. Like, I drive it like it's a Hemi. I drive it like it's a SR. Like, if it was an SRT, then I would like literally take care of it. Cause like, I love Dodge. I love, I love y'all so much. Y'all cool. Y'all lit. But this is what I drive. This is like, like I said, like, don't think of this, just think of this as another rent, because I was bored. Like, I was really bored. But I'm going to show y'all what it sound like and what I have to go through. So, you know, like, this is what I see every morning. You know, cranks up right on the dot. But y'all can hear that. Power steering fluid, power steering pump. <laughs> going bad oh yeah and when you close the door all of that <laughs> all of that so when i open the door y'all see how it's like this you gotta literally do it like that now with this like i can just find some screw and like screw it back in but i've been lazy to look for a screw but i mean the cool thing is some roof still work that's the cool thing about it too. Sunroof still work. So I mean like it work, but I could be doing way better. But it's like, do I really wanna put car, pay like do I wanna put payments on a car that I barely want? 
No. Shit been eating up my credit for absolutely no reason. Like, they been hard pulling my accounts. Like, you know, them hard inquiries really be like, they be on some bullshit for real. But that's what I'm starting to learn about. So it's like, if I want a fast car, but I can't afford it, my money call up. I could get the V8 version. Because I would rather hear the V8 than my supercharged V6. But it's like, do I really want to get it? Do I really want it? It's like, main question. Do you really want to be back in the coupe? Because, like, I mean, I don't pick up nobody. But, honestly, like, I kind of do like having my space. So, that's why I kind of thought about getting a truck, too. Like, my dream truck is a 4th Gen Dodge Ram. That's my dream pickup. Definitely my dream pickup truck. It's a 4th Gen Dodge Ram. But I could afford the third the third gen but the third gen is not that cool to me i mean they still cool versus the second version and we ain't gonna get started with the first for real eh, they'll go with one right now but yeah like like i said let me get back in the car Ugh, i'm gonna bring it out with me <laughs> so yeah this is what i drive every day it ain't cool. It ain't that. It ain't. It's literally not that cool, bro. Uh, I want a new car. And doing YouTube is the most best thing I can really do for myself. Because this is a. I think of this as a virtual diary. Virtual diary. Something that I can be bored and just like. Did I really say that on public? Did I really post that? But, you know, it is what it is. <sighs> but another thing is, though, this this isn't always going to be forever. So this is what I might be riding in right now. But this isn't always what I'm going to have forever. I could be riding in something else within the next six months. So we just going to sit here and we're going to manifest this. So I'm going to sit here, record this, and manifest this probably won't be in the same spot that it is that it that is in but it's gonna be something else i promise that but i can't really oh i ain't show you how the mileage either i ain't show y'all how i have to show the mileage on this thing and like another thing with a beater look at all them damn lights bruh seatbelt light srs light maintenance light hold on what's that check engine light like bro <laughs> then to check the cluster Look, so I gotta zoom in like that, and then you gotta start beating on that motherfucker until it show up. Yo, <laughs> there you go, right there. It's like 230. I ain't even gonna read that. I wanna say it's 237,000, but hey, 500 is on. Like, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I had cars that had like 180k. I mean, cool thing is it come with a touchscreen. That's probably the only cool thing. Now, like like I said, like I've been also thinking about different stuff. So like, there's the 300. There's the um, Chevy Monte Carlo. There's the 5.7 Hemi Jeep, or in all total, a Dodge Ram 1500. Luckily, if I get a 4x4. But, oh yeah, I took out my cluster to clean it because it was disgusting. And it's all stains in the back. Like, that's a high C stain. But, but like I said, though, this isn't <coughs> going to always be forever. You know, like, I say this all the time. Like, I'm glad I do YouTube because I can just vlog about this and... Like, you know, a couple years later, I can be in something totally different. And I can just, like, at first, I felt like I needed an audience to congratulate myself. But it's okay to celebrate in silence of your own victory once you think about it. Everything, like, always doesn't need an audience. You know, sometimes you need to take that, like, you need to celebrate by yourself. Like, i just been having so many negative individuals in my life. Like, I'm okay with the haters. Like, now I'm kind of getting used to everybody saying some slick shit on this YouTube shit. Like, saying some out-of-pocket shit, knowing damn well they wouldn't say that shit to your face in public. And that's cool. Because I know 
if I did see somebody say some dumb shit like that to me in public, I probably would have got popped and slapped in your shit. But I, I, ain't, I ain't trying to. I ain't trying to start anything like that. I'm just saying. I'm just saying it how it is. I'm just saying it how it is. But yeah, like like I said, like I ain't always gonna be like this forever. And I'm kind of glad that I do vlog about this though, because like I said, I came from nothing, and I'm coming for something. Ooh, that like hit good too. Like I like that. Like I came for nothing to something, bro. Like it ain't the most perfect thing, but it's cool. It's cool where I'm at, and it's just it's it's gonna get better. It's gonna get better regardless. Like, I just been, like, also, like, I've been procrastinating on my YouTube videos because I feel like I had to make the best public videos and stuff to get out, out there. Knowing damn well, like, if I just post what I want to post, like I said, it might go up, it might flop. It might go up, it might flop. Like, it, it, it's just two different things that it might do. And it's cool, though. If it flop, it flop. Like, you know, who is it really affecting me? Like, should I really care? Or should I, like, care in the creativity of me doing what i'm doing the best like what i like to do like, like i said i might even have like i'm also i'm gonna try my best to have a video about tomorrow too so i'm gonna try to get this uploaded today Ooh, say that <laughs> say that I i'm gonna try to get a video in today because i already got one in today this is another one for today Ooh. see i had a tripod y'all and i broke that bitch but i'm gonna get one in get this one in then probably tomorrow get another one tomorrow and i should be good on some um vids and like I said, I'm gonna just constantly, constantly keep trying to edit and do different stuff. But like, if y'all, if I don't, then please like remember I do work and I'm always at work and I'm just trying to hustle and get some money. But that's all I want. I, I, all I want is bread. That's all I really care about is money. Like I care about my loved ones. I care about my loved ones and money. So, you know, this Honda, I ain't gonna always have this thing forever. I'm not gonna always have this. I'm not always gonna be driving this car. And it's not a bad car. You know why? Because this is my money maker. This is what makes me money. This is what keeps me from having to ride the bus. Because I tried to catch the buses before and I couldn't really catch on to how they worked. Like, you know, we had the Metro Link and Metro Bus. I even downloaded the app and that shit still wasn't helping me. And I can't really be mad because I got this car for free from a brother. You know, he just gave me this car for free. But like I said, though. It's, it's, this is not always going to be forever I'm going to make an empire I'm going to definitely make an empire If I got to start by small Like I got to start by small and work myself up with other people To build my brand To build my name And like I said that's one of my other videos You surround, you, you surround, you surround yourself with bosses no matter what I don't care what nobody say Like like I said I might not have the coolest shit But the shit that going to come out of my mouth Will always be the realest shit Hang around bosses Hang around people that want to make money Like I said like I make so much money, but I'm always blowing it on something. Probably my rent and bills, but that's because I have, I don't want to get into all that. I ain't going to get into all that. But like I said, it's going to be better this year. It's definitely going to be better. But I hope y'all enjoy because I'm probably talking too much. And I low-key kind of want to go back home because my boy is bored. So it's been your boy, Merle Quinn. Hold on, we got to get that. Um, hold on, sunroof still open. Alright, yeah, it's better. It's but it's been your boy Marley Gwynn and I see y'all in the next.